Okay, so now the second plane, the second plane, that's a fun place to be. We can get all stuck on the second plane of ascension. It's a lot of us. I was stuck there for a long time too. Now let's talk about the second plane of ascension. That sounds like a lot of fun, eh? I'm excited about this. You know, I've lived on the streets and I've had a pretty rough life. And to finally find who I am, all you want to do is help others that seek what I have to offer, the wonderment that I have to offer. I don't push on anybody, but if you would like to know and find the God goddess within yourself, and then be one of these mosquitoes around here and be annoying to the matrix leaders then. <laughs> okay, so the second one is where one gains their understanding of guilt, pain, shame, remorse, hurts, letdowns, unappreciated. I think I got a mosquito in my mouth. Denial, abandonment, desires, lust, anger, hate, exclusives, blame, and love. Love, 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 love. So here one may get trapped in their own misery of despair. Depression, hurts, shame, anger, letdowns, failures. Mm-hmm. Can you think of them right now? I'm sure you can think of a lot of them. And then they play the poor me. You know, and also these primary emotions and thoughts to be their dominant experience in their reality. So, yeah, you know what I mean. If you're going to get stuck on blame, victim, victim, martyr. You know, if you're a victim of your child and you're playing martyr when you're adolescent, the next thing you need approval when you're, when you're an adult and it goes in bitterness, you know, dying to the bitter end. It's just because you disconnect yourself from your soul power when you're ashamed when you're really young. Oh yeah, whole culture likes to shame people here. It's a big one. So, and then we get stuck on it. You know, the grudges and the vindictive, right? So, if you want to play in that place, you know, you can stay there as long as many lifetimes as you want. Yeah. So, if you want to be vindictive, spiteful, angry, hateful person and hold on to what others have said to you or they owe you or it's their fault or they should have known better or they're idiots or they're going to keep making mistakes or you got grudges or... I'm sure you know about many more. I'm not even listing, right? I know. So right to the last breath, you're going to hold on to these ones. I'm going to make sure that they get... Then you get to come back again, and you get to do it again. That's exciting. You got to think about how exciting that is. That's pretty exciting because you're here to learn about love, right? Yeah. But if you want to get stuck in those angers and stuff, you can play with them as long as you want. You're an infinite being that lives forever, right? Talked about that in the God Goddess first plan. So if you hold a grudge, anger, vindictive, spiteful, or hate from one person's actions that downed you in the past, the universe and the soul will mirror as many people, places, and things as it can to get you back to that first bottled up pain, unprocessed hurt, and pain, and trauma. Or maybe you swallowed down someone else's shame or pain and cut yourself off. Or whatever it is, you're holding on to their anger or your pain, or their, and it can just weigh you down. So here when opportunity knocks, we can come up with every excuse, blame, or our own toxic poison. I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not ready enough. I'm not, you know, tall enough. Or we can grow wise. Oh, we can grow wise, right? Oh, we can blame. No, we don't want to do that, right? We've done that one already. You done that? You done that? Good. We can grow wise now, and you can grow in your domain and dominion, right? Of one's love's true embrace. Yeah, love's true embrace. So, that's the beautiful part about this, right? Man, when you're a drug addict and you experience death, life is beautiful every breath. Especially when you walk with God, goddess within you. And you can all rise into a Christ form, so be it. Yeshua ben Joseph rose into a Christ, and so can you, so be it. So, one has overcome this by understanding our thoughts and our feelings create our tomorrows. They do, right? So, you want to play misery today? Well, then you have misery tomorrow. I did a video on deleting pesky thoughts. Delete that, put some nice flowers in there, start co creating beautiful flowers. <clears throat> You're the creators of your reality. Do you want to create a life of misery, of pain? Do you want to create a life of misery and pain? Do you? Or a life of joy, a life of choice? You choose, Grand One. You choose which one that you want to create for yourself. You're naturally a loving being. Oh, now the sun's really coming out now. It's flaring down. There's a beautiful element of the sun today. You're a naturally loving being. Oh, maybe I can take this off now. Maybe the skills will kind of buzz off a little bit there. All right, so you're a naturally loving being. It fabricated from the love. You are love. You're here learning of all the right rich trezels, as you say. The rich treasures of emotions that planet Earth has to offer you. Right now is the time to transcend, metamorphosize into love's embrace. Okay, by feeding and thinking of emotions, thoughts, and actions that fill your being, like joy, like love, like happiness, like laughter. In children's laughter is the presence of God. Whew. Wow, eh? Let's look at that. Wow. Just... Oh, I asked God to show me of beauty.
And there's beauty. Mosquitoes, they're little pesky little buggers. That's what I mean, God goddess. Rise, rise, and you will see that you are powerful. I'm gonna put this back on again. I want to find my mouth and my ear and stuff. So I'm finding if we have a grudge towards someone, I get tired, sore, worn down, burnt out, etc. If someone hurts me, and instead of getting mad or saying, I hope that karma will take care of you. Remember you say that? I hope karma gets you. The karma lords will get you. Mm-hmm. Still holding a the grudge there. That's not going to work for you. The... Right? And it, 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 it hurts when you, yourself when you do that. You know, you want to just love them. Just love them. I love them. And may the Lord God of their being find peace. So be it. So... I'm sure you can think of a lot of grudges and hateful things and vindictive and this was unappreciated and that didn't happen. This should have happened and you can hold those grudges to the very bitter end. You can say, Chris, you don't understand. You don't know what you're talking about. Look what he did. Look what she did. Chris. Christ said, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Divine being that you are. So you too. You too can forgive. So right now, if you are filled with anger, hate, and suffering, call the angel of peace right now. Call the angel of peace to fill your being. May the Lord God of your being find peace. May the Lord God of your being find peace. So go to the infant, child, and adolescent, or adult inside right now, hiding. Hiding in pain. Go now to them. Go now to them and listen to them and love them and be with them. And love this child, this infant, this adolescent, this adult version of yourself. And be with them. Listen to them. And, and, and see where they lock down, where they split. Be in their love. Be in their vibrant. And be with them in this moment. Understand them in this moment. Understand them. And be with them. And how you won't abandon them. Explain about abandonment, denial, rejection, and all these things. And how you're not going to do it to them. You're going to be with them now. And you're going to work through them and learn to transform to love's embrace now. These are the beautiful things that you're going to do for yourself now right? So you're going to teach new things. You're going to grow in new beauties by working with the infant and the child and the adolescent, you know, and, and the adult within now. So I also want to imagine creator's lights plucking out lower vibrational dense thoughts from your auras. Like I'm not good enough. I can't do it. Right? So see you with eyes of heart now, with eyes of love. All is perfect. You have been perfectly miserable and you have been perfectly happy. That sounds exciting, eh? Yeah. So rise now, dripping now and brood and stained with love and your natural state of mind of being right? Love is everywhere. Love is everywhere, right? Whenever there is a path ahead of you and you're on your ascension path and we are on, we are one of those ones on their path. There is, there's, there's no gap between me and you when we're on this path together. So there may be layers to your onions that I don't like, you're not working on your grudges and things like that that I don't like and may trigger my grudges and anger. But that's maybe your onions and your layers just make me cry. But, you know, that's it's just to love you, the what you're working on there. And what I'm working on, I'm not going to hold any grudges. You should get it better. You should know better. Why don't you do this? Why don't you change this? Can't you know this is happening? Don't you know that the vegan, these animals are happening? It's about bringing awareness. It's about bickering and peaching. You know what I mean? So it's about offering the beauty for those ones that want what you have to offer, right? All right. So how do we respond to love? Do you say... Do you say that pain, or is that hurt, or is that hate love? Or do you grow now into your beautiful love, your love's embrace now? How do you respond to love? Do you say, no, get away? Or do you say, yes, I want it? Now bring your love now, and bring your bounty as a reflector to every person, place, or thing that you encounter into your life. So when you squish a flower, it does not get mad at you and hold a grudge. It leaves the beautiful essence of its true beauty in the air around you. So when someone is just hurting, hurting you, then you can leave them your also love and presence to them, but also standing and stating healthy boundaries for yourself. So the best revenge is happiness and love for another. So be it. Whew. Push from right to right.